Hey, you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. If you are new, welcome. And if you're not new, thank you so much for coming back for another live chat on my channel. Hi, Vicky J. How are you? Good to see you again. I was on your live earlier when you did that beautiful look. <laughs> Um, but yeah, back to the intro. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, thank you for coming back. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much. And if you are here live, then thank you as well for spending some time with me this evening. Tonight, we're going through bronzer and contour, which is really nice because it's going to be brown girl friendly, <laughs> of course, as you can see. So um, hi, Kina. How are you doing? Happy, what is this, Wednesday? Happy Wednesday to you. <laughs> so yes, um, today we're talking about bronzer and contour. I've got creams. And of course, because of the struggles finding some good bronzers and contours for my skin tone, I'm going to have some face powders and stuff like that that I also use for a bronzer and contour. So yeah, it should be fun. Should be fun. Oh, but also, I always forget to say it. If you are not subscribed, then certainly click the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoy the live, then certainly give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that as well. So, yeah. Oh, good to hear that, Keen. I'm glad you were able to catch the live. Yeah, glad you were able to catch the live. So, Let's, oh, before we get into everything, I'll probably have to reiterate this throughout the live as more people come on. But on the eyes today, I have on the Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction, just a special shade in the corner. Well, I have it right here on my desk. So I think it's Fire Opal, this green shade, you know, the duochrome shifty goodness. I've got a little of the rose gold. 005. I think that's what that one's called. Where's the box? Oh. Yeah. So I think that's called Rose Gold. Yep. Yeah, Rose Gold 005 on the inner corner. And then the skin, the skin show shade on the brow bone. And that's it on the eyes. And on the face, I am trying this Becca skin tint. Um, it's a new product that they recently came out with. I haven't heard anybody really talking about it at all, but I was interested and it's the Becca Light Shifter Doing Tint. And this is my first time trying it. I was gonna come on and live, do, do like a first impression with you all here. But I just wanted to make sure that I kind of got a feel for it before you all saw my reaction. You know, I don't really do tints. I wasn't sure if this was gonna be like the uh, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Um, so, yeah. Oh, am I frozen? What is going on here? I think it froze up a little bit. All right. Sorry, guys. What is going on? Hopefully. Okay. I don't know what that was. Sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, so that's what this uh, – I'm wearing this skin tint here. And then uh, what else? Why does this keep doing that? What is going on here? Oh my goodness. Yes, I had to stream. What's going on? It's like it's not accepting my camera. Okay, hopefully this stays on. I don't know what's going on with my camera and my software tonight. Hopefully we don't have an issue like last night. Um, but so that's what's on the face and some blushes. Hi, Aces. Hi, how are you? So for my blush tonight, I went for the orange shades that, okay, thank you, Kina. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I think it's doing it again. Y'all, I might have to, I don't think I need to restart my computer. This is crazy. All right. It's like my Lord Jesus. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this. Uh, maybe it's my USB cord is acting funky. 
I don't know. This is strange. Um, I'm doing all right, um, Ace is high. I just don't know what's going on with my computer right now. Like yesterday, I feel like my hair is getting disheveled with the craziness. Okay. It's freezing up. I don't know what's going on, you guys. I know. I. <laughs> Hi, Chai. How are you? Yeah. Yeah. That's all you can do, right? Um. Okay, I'm trying to just make sure this computer is clear of everything. Y'all, I be trying to get ready for these videos and stuff and make sure everything is looking nice. And then here we go. <laughs> Come on now. Oh, my God. How's my phone? I don't know. Okay, just take no action. Hopefully that's okay. All right, so you guys, we're gonna get into it. If I have to hop on the phone and restart my computer, then we'll do that like I did yesterday. Although I, that restart yesterday was involuntary. Okay, so, so y'all know that. Okay, so let's just get into the bronzers and the contour. And if you guys have any questions about the face, then I can let y'all know. Hi, Kim. How are you? Thank you for coming through. All right. So put that phone down there. All right. I don't have any bronzer or contour on today. I figured maybe I could just try a couple, but I've got a decent amount. So let's just get into the creams first. So I have the Huda Beauty Tan Tour in the color tan. And this, I really enjoy this. You guys can see how much. I've used it's got a nice dip in it Lord yes those Byredo lipsticks looked fantastic I want the one that's called Tokyo the one not the plum one the first one I mean I want the plum one too but I figure the first one I can start off you know with that one girl that was beautiful hi Kima so the tan tour this is very nice. The reason I, this is the reason I did not pick up the Fenty cream uh, pro, cream bronzer products because I have this and I feel like this one looks similar to the one shade. You can see how rich that is. And I think there's a shade deeper than this in this product. There that is there. Blends out nicely. I just take a brush and pat that on to, you know, my area where I want to be contoured. And yeah, and it blends out nicely with a sponge or a brush. Okay. The next cream out cream item. I'm saying I don't know what I was trying to say. Oh, Cindy, hi, how are you? You said you love the Huda Tan Tour and you have the same shade. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I forgot to put my little, what do you call it? There. <laughs> okay. So next I have the Danessa Myricks. This is the power bronzer in the shade deep. This is the last shade that she offers in this product, but she now has the, um, the cream or the contour balm or something like that. So I, like I was saying last night, I don't know what the difference is between this and the new product that she came out with, but there's the, um, this is the product from Vanessa Myricks. Maybe she's discontinuing this. I don't know. But it looks nice and warm compared to the Huda one. I think the Huda one has a little bit more redness to it. I don't know. Okay. Next. I'm trying to make sure I wipe all this stuff off. I don't want to get it anywhere. I don't want it. Okay, the next cream I have is actually the Fenty Espresso Match Stick. And I don't really use this that much. This I don't use this that much. I find that it's a little bit dry. I think this shade is similar to the Danessa Myricks a bit, but it's a little drier of a texture, so I don't really use this or the other matchsticks that I have. Maybe I just don't think about it, but 
I have this one as well. I think I'm, I'm going to keep it rather than declutter it, but just an FYI. And then finally for the creams is the Tom Ford Intensity 3 um, Shade and Illuminate product. Oh, thank you, Chai. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. So here she is, and I really like it. <laughs> Let me swatch that one. So this one of all four is the most emollient, but you guys know it's a good product. It blends out nicely, and it has a nice intensity as well. And so you can, you can see that shine there on my hand here compared to the others, but it blends out nicely. Hi, Marlo. How are you? So these are the four creams that I have for bronzer, and I like them all. Um, you know, Cindy, you said they are drying for sure. Yeah, I just don't, I don't use this one as much, but when I'm using cream contour, when I feel like doing that extra step, I'm mainly focusing on the Tom Ford, Danessa, or the Huda Beauty. Yes, um, I was pleasantly surprised with my most recent Selfridges order that it gave me an estimated like arrival time of like a week or so out, but it, they shipped it immediately the same night and it came, you know, a couple of days later. So hopefully that's the same experience for you too, Chai. Okay. All right. Now for, let's see, what do I want to go into next? More, obviously more bronzer. Let's go into the shimmery ones. So last night when we were talking about my blushes, I mentioned that Black Radiance has this beautiful product with the lady with the afro in a really dark brown um, shade. I don't know why it's called highlighting powder, but this is an intense or in sun-kissed glow. And this is really pretty. This is like $4, of course, because it's Black Radiance. Let me show you all the swatch here is i'm not trying to flip y'all off y'all know that there's that color there and here it is there on my swatch it's so nice so if you don't mind a little glow in the contour area then this would be perfect and I find that it blends out nicely and stuff just because the drugstore don't mean it don't work, you know? Y'all know that. So yeah, I like this one. You said Tarte has a cream bronzer too? Hi, Nikki. How are you? Tarte has a cream bronzer too. And let's see, Marlo, you said you just purchased the Danessa Myers Cream Contour. You always use cream products. Yeah, cream products are nice, man, for that nice, natural, like, nice and sometimes natural or glowy, dewy, you know, finish. You just, and um, Kima, you said you bought some Sicily lipsticks and the Charlotte Tilbury palettes. Did you, bu you bought all three of the Hollywood Flawless Filter um, eye palettes? Is that what you're referring to, Kima? Wait a second. Natasha Denona contours or bronzers? I, is this something new that you're talking about, Nikki? I have the sculpting powder that we'll, um, I'll mention. Hi, Bridget. How are you? Bridget did this beautiful, beautiful look with the Urban Decay Stoned Vibes palette. I was so unexpected. I mean, not, I don't know. I just didn't have high expectations for that palette. So that look was very beautiful that I uh, saw you. I think you put that video up today. It was really pretty. Hi, Aliza. Thank you. Right. I hear you, Kima. I was thinking about that. Um, I'm thinking about the medium one, like Vicky J was thinking that it was kind of like light, medium, and deep. So yeah, I was thinking about that eyes to eyes of the stars. I think that's what Cindy told me it was yesterday. Oh, you meant Danessa Myricks. Okay. Is this a new logo? No, it's not actually. It's been in the little bottom right-hand corner, 
of my videos for the longest. It's just so small that it blends into my videos. So yeah, but it's been there for the longest. I made it in like a, a photo um, editing software. <laughs> All right, you guys, so back to the thing. So this is Black Radiance, um, that little product. And then what else? We've got Tom Ford. So Tom Ford, his bronzers have a shimmer to them. So if I look at Flickr, this is new to my collection. Probably the newest. Yeah, the newest bronzing product in my collection. You can see that it looks quite similar to the Black Radiance. As far as, I feel like this has a little bit more depth. The Black Radiance looks a little lighter. as far, Maybe it's the shine to it. But, you know, similar, like, shininess, I think. It has a similar kind of sheen, you know? Okay. And then, of course, the Moss Agate Shade and Illuminate Face and Eye Palette. Here we go. You guys already know what this thing looks like. I should have put this in my 2020 favorites. I didn't think about it. I don't know why. Maybe because I hadn't used it so much. Probably because, you know, it's just like, I won't say it's just, but it's the it's a quad. So I don't reach for it as much as like a bigger palette. But you all know that that one's pretty. There's that bronzer there. Oh, the eyeshadow, Nikki, is the Mothership 5 Bronze to Seduction. Uh, bronze Seduction from Mothership. So I used the Fire Opal shade all over the lid and blended it out into the crease. And then I put the Rose Gold 005 on the inner corner. Thank you. So yeah, I've been kind of curious about, you know, just using like one main shade, one main special shade from the palette. So I've done that for like the past three days, <laughs> actually. Yes. Yep. So I want to use this more to uh, Nikki. And of course, I want to get the others as well. Like I specifically. <laughs> yeah, I knew what you meant. <laughs> you said you love bronze seduction, Marlo. Yeah, it's pretty. I um, it was my first palette. It's not my favorite now that I have all of them. But it, please don't ask me my favorite. I feel like we've gone through that so many times. But um, I don't know. I feel like with every mothership palette, whenever I make a look, I'm always happy with it. So. <laughs> All right, so those are the shimmer, like the real like shiny ones. I've got some that have a little sparkle in them. So from the lip bar, this is their combination, like their bronzer and their blush. And this is in Double Date. And that's what this shade looks like. And it also has an orange, super glowy blush. This would, for me, just be like a blush topper, of course. It's just so shiny. Um, I featured this product in my black owned makeup video, makeup brand video. Uh, let me get my baby wipes. Okay. I gotta wipe these swatches off. I don't have to swatch everything, but I feel like with bronzers, especially for deeper skin tones, it's like you really want to see what they kind of look like and how they look on the skin because it can be challenging sometimes. Y'all know. Okay, so this one has a little sparkle in it, but of course when you apply it, it doesn't, you don't see it. Um, let's see, I kind of need my hand to dry first. I don't want it to impact the swatch, but there's the one from the lip bar. That's a nice deep shade of bronzer. And then I had something else that had a little sparkle to it, but, oh, you know what? Something very unsuspecting. I have, have had this for a while. It's from Winky Lux. Have you guys used any of their products? It's the only product that I have from them. It's their coffee bronzer in espresso, and you get this from Ulta. 
and it has a bit of a sparkle to it too, but I never thought of this brand. I think I, I don't know whose video I was watching. Maybe it was Andrea Renee, probably. It smells like coffee and it's just a really nice bronzer shade. So unsuspecting from this brand. Um, just because, I, you know, if a brand isn't like really known for a large shade range or anything, then I just, I don't know. I just don't expect it. So, so this one is a little lighter, but it works as a bronzer. It's not the deepest, but I feel like this is, you have to certainly go in with a light hand with that lip bar product. I could probably go like for a lighter shade if they have, well, no, they have one, but you know what I mean? This one is just, it's just not, it's nice. And it builds nicely on the skin. I actually want to use that some more because I haven't used it in a while. Okay. And then I picked up this ColourPop pressed powder face. And it's a bronzer. Um, I don't think it has a name. I don't know if it has a name to it. Oh, and there's a pencil mark in there for me to pop it out. So it probably has a number. I don't know what it is. And I don't have anything to pop the thing out right now. But this is more like a neutral tone. It has a little pinky tone to it. It's okay. I think I might get rid of it. <laughs> Just because I, I don't know. Maybe I'll try it again soon to see if I still want it. Okay. And then this Pro LA Girl Pro Contour Powder and Highlight. Oh, Winky Lux Cream Flower Blush. Okay, interesting. So yeah, I haven't really heard too much about the brand. So okay. Um, let's see what this is in deep. I think I just purchased this directly from the LA Girl site, but we've got another deep bronzer there in the affordable category. And I purchased this, I believe, because of Andrea Renee. This is from the Rimmel, and this is in the shade Golden Bronze. So we've got a blush, bronze, and highlight. Okay, I'll have to look. So yeah, I think I I'm quite sure Winky Lux is at Ulta. So I'll have to look for those blushes. See, I'm, I'm on a blush search now from yet since yesterday's video. I've got like two in my car from Ulta and I'm trying to pick some from NARS. Not I mean, two in my cart from Becca and I'm trying to pick a few shades from NARS. So yeah, I want to get Dolce Vita from NARS. It looks so beautiful. You know what? Someone else on my channel had recommended Morphe. I can't think of her name right now. A Morphe bronzer. Um, I don't wear Morphe either, but yeah, I did hear another recommendation for their bronzer. You said you heard the Mar the Morphe bronzer is comparable to, is that Marc Jacobs? <laughs> you said you don't know about all that though. They're actually at Target. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. All right, cool. So this is uh, Rimmel, obviously a drugstore. Um, not that I'm looking at it. I'm kind of surprised that this actually works on me. I guess it does, but it blends. It's blending right into my hand. I'm going to get rid of this. I just, I don't know. It's kind of weird. Okay. All right. So let's see what other, I mean, I have a, a decent amount. I'll say a lot, not as many as I had blushes. So there's this product. I purchased this NYX No Filter. This is a face product um, finishing powder, and it looks really warm. It looks orange. <laughs> so I would use this to warm up my face a little bit, but it's, I don't know. I don't know if I would classify it as a bronzer. It's kind of blending into my skin, but it, I think I'm going to get rid of this. It was in my... Um, little contour bronzer area. Okay. Prime Beauty. We talked about this before. This is their bronzer and I have it in the shade Bronzeville. Very pretty. 
And I think they have one more after this, one deeper. And that swatch is just so, I don't know, not a, I don't know, it's pigmented and nice and smooth. There she is right there. Very nice. Are you all talking about Kevin Aquan Foundation? I had another product up here that I wanted to share. And it's actually from e.l.f. I have to find it because it was like two or three dollars and it's a nice bronzer or, you know, contour shade, whatever you want to call it. But I'm not seeing it. Maybe I dropped it. Okay. Anyways, you all probably don't care about that. Anyway. <laughs> you probably don't care about that one anyway. So Pat McGrath, I use the deep powder as a bronzer because when I purchased the foundation, you know, they had those kits where you could get the, you know, discounted kit for the foundation powder. Is that it? The foundation and the powder? I guess so. Um, and... This was too deep for me. It's like too red toned. It was too rich. So I actually use this as a bronzer when I feel like being bothered with like a loose powder for a bronzer. I'm just going to get a little bit of it on my hand and do a nice little swatch here. So, yeah. So that one works nicely for a bronzer just to warm up the face real good. Okay, let me get some water. Are you all um, talking about the foundation? I'm curious. Okay. All right, so um, next, the next product is Fenty Beauty. <laughs> we keep talking about Mocha Mommy. It just looks red in the pan. Look how red she looks. But, um, yeah, this isn't my favorite. She's just so red. And, I mean, when I swatched earlier, because I did do another, like, do a couple swatches just to get an idea. Didn't look as red, but now just looking at it here, you can see the, the redness there on that swatch. It's, um, it's interesting. It could have, I don't know, it needed something to build to balance out that red tone and that um, bronzer. And then let me swatch Gucci next to it. So you all know I've got the Gucci bronzer in number five. Oh, are you talking? Oh, okay. All right. You guys are talking about that. Okay. Here's the Gucci right there. So there's Gucci and then there's, there's Gucci and then there's Fenty. So actually on my hand, at least Gucci looks a little more red than Fenty. Um, but maybe just swatch, um, blend it out on the face. They look different because I feel like uh, Fenty looks a little, has a little bit more orange to it versus the Gucci one. So, but yes, it is a little red. It is a little red. Yeah, I think I'm preferring the coloring certainly of that, um, of the Charlotte over the Gucci yeah, certainly um, the color. Oh, I've got here's my other ones that I wanted to show. Okay, so I showed you Gucci. Let's um, let's do Charlotte since we were just talking about her. I'm going to wipe off these first three 
just so we can compare the Gucci and the Fenty to the Charlotte. I've never tried any Kevin Aquan foundation. I have a Kevin Aquan concealer. Um, oh, you know what? I have that balm, the balm foundation that uh, he came out with. It's very polarizing, has really um, negative or, you know, positive reviews. There's nothing like really in between. Okay. All right. So let's do Charlotte next. I'm in number four deep, of course. And okay. There it is. So yeah, I, this one, you know, is, is more neutral. I'm trying to think of the word to say more neutral than these others um, on my arm. Yes, actually, that's what you want, the balm. Oh, okay. I like the balm foundation, but it's... When you look at the reviews, there's not really good reviews. I think if you have dry skin, you might not like it. Um, but I have combo oily, like oily in the T-zone and like normal elsewhere. So... I mean, I like it. I think you can you get really flawless look with that balm foundation. Uh, so, yeah, I like it. But of course, the color, the shade range needs to be expanded. Certainly, like my shade that I have in his is not a direct, like it's not a the perfect match. So yeah, but yeah, that Charlotte one, it goes on so smooth and stuff. As far as like me just watching it and stuff, it just felt real nice. Okay. All right, so before I jump into some others, I couldn't find um, I could not find these a couple more affordable ones I wanted to show you. So I picked up Milani's Earth Glow Pressed Powder. So this is not a bronzer, but it's Earth Glow number five. I got this upon recommendation from uh, Jackie Ina. She had mentioned this a while ago, so I ordered it from the Milani website. And it's a decent bronzer. It's more neutral toned. I feel like it has a slight pink hint to it. But there's that one. If you don't mind getting a pressed powder for your bronzer. And that one's affordable. I also like these face powders, these pressed powders from Black Radiance. I have this one in the shade Black Coffee. You said you couldn't get a shade for yourself. Cindy. Yeah, it was, I think we basically only had two shades to choose from in that foundation. Um, as far as even for an option for darker, deep skin tones. So yeah, I have the sensual skin enhancer and I want to say 13, but it's more so like kind of, I feel like it's a little bit color character color correcting shade versus like a true highlight and I don't have a foundation like I don't have a skin tone shade in that product it's so pigmented it's so thick <laughs> and there's so much product in there I feel like I'm never going to get through it Vesca Beauty you know what I've seen I think Jackie's been sponsored by them on a few videos and I need to check them out is that I wonder is that brand black owned uh Cindy do you know Okay, there's that Black Radiance product, the pressed powder. Oh, yeah, I had the same question, Nikki. And then something that was very surprising for me, this is from e.l.f. This is their Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in the shade Dark Deep. This was like $1, and it works like it works nicely as a bronzer or as a, you know, contour product to give you some depth and dimension in the face. And I was really surprised right there. So there that is. They are not. Okay. 
I was just curious. Okay, there's that. And then I'm coming to the end. The blush video took so much longer. <laughs> but I've got ABH Mahogany here. I haven't used this one in a while. And, okay. Shai, you said you emailed them and they said no. Okay. Let's see. Where can I do this swatch? Right there. ABH Mahogany. Do they still do bronzers? I'm wondering. I haven't seen much about them. And speaking of ABH, are you all getting that anything from the clear collection or whatever it's called, like the white collection? <laughs> I was curious about that white highlight because, it, of course, it looks white in the pan, but it's got that gold, like, shift to it. So I'm like, oh, that looks kind of cute. But I'm not sure. Nope. Okay. <laughs> Nikki said nope. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> you want that freeze brow thing? I was curious about that as well. I was like, oh, if I pick one thing, it will probably be the highlight. So here's Natasha Denona in number five, deep in her sculpting powder. Nice and rich. I was wondering about that too, Kima, because I was looking at the swatches and they did look a bit... That's a nice tone right there. Look at how rich that is. Oh, gosh. Natasha Denona did a great job with this um, contour powder. But, yeah, so I was thinking it looked a bit icy as well. But I'm like, maybe it's just because it's like a such a concentrated swatch. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. So I did put a little cart together, but um, I don't know if I'm going to check out. <laughs> I do that often. You said you literally keep a backup of it. Yeah, I've been going to that, especially when I want like a just a plain, like neutral contour, no nothing warm or anything like that. It's it's good. <laughs> yeah, I mean the the packaging it just looks so beautiful, like so like luxe and. I don't know, but yeah, the, the products are, you know, they're okay as far as what they actually released and stuff. I think the packaging and the overall aesthetic of the collection looks really pretty, which is not a good reason to go out and purchase the collection just because it looks pretty. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> and then I have this Tarte clay play palette that of course that I got in BoxyCharm. All of my Tarte products except for my knockout tingling face treatment, they've all come from BoxyCharm. So <laughs> here is this product here. It's called the Face Shaping Palette and it's got the eyeshadows and then the um, face products right there as you can see. And this timber actually works for me. Where can I swatch? I'll just swatch this one right here. I got too much. And there's that one. I don't feel like it's really showing up that nicely on my skin on that swatch. It looks a little bit, I don't know, grayish or something. <laughs> but it looks nice on the skin. You said it looks ashy. <laughs> okay. So you guys... Those, that's my whole collection of bronzers and contour products. Um, that's it. You said you got the new, um, the new Tarte cream bronzer. It was made to dupe the Chanel cream bronzer. Oh yeah, because Chanel just has not come out with the, you know, Soleil Tan Day Chanel, whatever it's called in a shade deep enough. So, okay. Hi Toya, how are you? Thank you for coming through. <laughs> oh my, okay. You said verify with your email and they said they're not black at, black owned and at the time had no black employees. I wonder if they're like real small. I don't know. 
Uh, that's what I said. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Hopefully they've got like some caveat, like there's only two people working there or something. <laughs> yeah, thank you for researching. Setting powders. Um, I have a, well, I say, I won't say I have a decent amount. I have, I don't know. I feel like I have a decent amount. Uh, but yeah, they're all in the other room. So I'd have to uh, do that in another video. Right. At least they're truthful. I'm not trying to cover anything up. All right. So I don't have on any contour. Thoughts on by Tweed. Oh, that's nice. Donated 20000 That's a lot of money. Oh, the By Terry Hydrating Powder. I'm going to sneeze. Pardon me. Okay. Um, pardon me. <laughs> I like the By Terry Hydrating Powder. It stays right here. So I do have this on my, you know, getting ready station. And I use this often. I like it a lot. It's not... Whenever I say I like it a lot, I should probably talk about what's the positives about it. It's really nice. It's I feel like it's a hydrating powder, and I like the shade range that Viteri has with this. So I'm in 500 medium dark. I think they have maybe one or two after this. Oh, thank you guys. <laughs> um, and it's not matte. Like it's not overly matte. I feel like it sets my foundation really nicely, and you know, sets real good into the foundation. Doesn't lay on top of the skin, and you know. It's good. Um, okay, we've got some people uh, seconding that, that it's a good powder. Cindy said, so it's great. And you have combination. Yeah, I do too. You want to try the pressed by Terry powder. <laughs> I did see that they came out with a pressed version. I have not tried that. I do have their, it's called, it's like a, I feel like it has a glow. I'm not. I feel like it has a glow to it because it's got like a darker ring and then a lighter ring that has a little bit of a glow to it. So I like that one. Um, so yeah. Right. It is finely milled. Finely milled. Yeah, I kept getting like ads for the by Terry sale, like 30% off or something like that. And I didn't go and purchase anything. I'm curious about those eyeliners that Vicky J has been talking about on her channel because they look really, really good. The CC powder. Oh, color correcting powder is gorgeous too. Okay. Let me see. Where is that by what is that by Terry powder? I don't know where I put it. I was trying to organize this whole section behind me and I didn't really do a great job. <laughs> do they have bronzers for women of color? No, not to my understanding. Somebody else can chime in if they do because I'm not too versed on by Terry. So I'm not even familiar with the bronzers if they have any for, no, for you know, other skin tones. Okay. I didn't even notice your misspellings. <laughs> it's okay. These spell checks on these phones, man, they'd be interesting. All right. So I'm going to go in with this black radiance because I haven't used it in a while and hopefully it looks, shows up nicely the way I remember it, you know, showing up. Y'all know another powder that I like, which I don't, I don't think it got that, gets that much attention, but the Charlotte Tilbury magic powder and number three, it is number number three, tan dark. It has a smell to it, like they, yeah, it smells like crayons or something like that. But if you don't mind the smell, I like it. I like this powder too. So this and the By Terry Hydra powder stays on my desk, and then I also really enjoy the Pat McGrath loose powder. It just absorbs nicely into the skin, into the foundation underneath, and just looks, you know, nice and smooth and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go into this black radiance item. Ooh, see, yeah, it's, it's got some depth to it, and it's unsuspecting. 
Oh, yes, Toya. I did a first impression on it here live, what, last week? The Fenty Powder Foundation, yeah. So I like it a lot. I've been using it. I've used it a few times since that video and it works nicely. Get a nice polished look. I've really been comparing it to the Makeup Forever and I like them both. Chai said, you prefer Makeup Forever. I do remember you saying that. Uh, Makeup Forever, you know, you get that coverage kind of more quickly than you do with the Fenty, I think. And it does look a little bit more flawless. Yeah, I hear you, Toya. I haven't been to any stores and I just kind of, what I've been doing for my foundation purchases is guessing, of course, watching a lot of YouTube videos and getting some like shade references that way. And then picking one and hoping it works. For the most part here recently, it's been working nicely though. Yes, the 50 is good. So, because I I think two was it two or three times I've done the half face with the makeup forever and half face with the Fenty. And it's just like a matter for me of the getting that coverage faster with the makeup forever versus Fenty, but they both come together nicely and look like you know, they look like regular foundation to me. Okay. All right. And what else do I want to put on? You know what I said I was going to do? Put Fenty on one side and then Gucci on the other one. I don't want to add more redness, so I'll just skip it. All right, Marlo. Thank you for coming through. I appreciate you. I'm going to go in with the Winky Lux coffee or espresso bronzer on this side here. If you need more radiant powder, radiance, radiant powders, <laughs> go with by Terry. Yeah. Oh, they are. They're having a sale still. Okay. All right, you have a good one as well. Thank you for coming through, Aces. Okay. So what else? So I think I'm all set as far as, you know, everything goes. I don't know if I'm going to really declutter too much. I've got a couple of things that I'm going to get rid of. Um, but for the most part, I'm going to keep everything. It's not like I have a whole bunch to really <laughs> get rid of. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, Minted. Minted has bronzers. You guys said Vesca. And um, I'm sure there are others as well. But those are a couple more that I want to try that, you know, I've heard have good bronzer tones for my skin tone and deeper. So, yeah. Okay. You're going on a shopping spree. <laughs> a shopping spree, Chai. 
because you just got those Byredo, Byredo lipsticks as well. I'm curious to hear what you have to say about the foundation when it comes in. That lip compact looks interesting. So I'm curious to see what you have to say about that as well. Is the white by Terry powder dark skin approved? Are you talking about like the, the white hyaluronic powder? I got a little sample from um, from Beautylish in uh, one of my orders. If you're talking about this one, I think it does. I think it absorbs nicely into the skin. But let me, I can put some on right now if you're talking about this. Yes, Ashley. Okay, cool. Let me see. Let me get a brush and then you can see how it looks and decide if you want to make that purchase. Um. All right, so I'm just going to take my buffing brush into it and then put it right there on the forehead. And I don't grow for a lot, but I think it looks nice. I think it absorbs nicely into the skin and it doesn't leave a cast in my opinion. But someone else can chime in. Get rid of some of this shine. Yeah, so what is the shade? Well, I don't think it has a shade because it's not the tinted one. So yeah. And this one is really finely milled as well. I like the way it just absorbs nicely into the skin. Yeah, I agree that it does blend away nicely. Hello. Okay. All right. I know, Kima. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> like, okay. Oh, okay. Cool. I know, y'all. Are you talking back about the Kevin Aquan? Or what, what are y'all talking about? I'll be trying to get into the conversation. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see. Anything else I can do to the face? Nothing really. So, I know, right? Me too. So you said with the Laura powders. Yeah, I don't even have the Laura powder, surprisingly enough, because I feel like everybody has the Laura powders. I only have like, so I won't say I don't have it. I have the, like a travel size that came like in the sample or something. And I hardly even use that. Do you guys like the Fenty powders? I wonder if, I, I don't know. I don't know if setting powder like collection would be interesting in, to you guys. You guys let me know. I don't have a lot. I feel like I just have a lot of a particular one. Like I have two, two of the Fenty. I have multiple of this, that one brand from the drugstore where you get like a whole ton of very fragranced powder. <laughs> I have that. So yeah, so by Terry, I've got, Oh, we're not talking about them anymore. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if that would be enough to fill a thing, but. Oh, goodness. In three colors. Wait, I didn't even know she had three colors. But you know what? Actually, I do know that she has three colors, right? She's got a new medium one and then like a dark or something.
Okay. Yeah, we can. And then you guys help me with this stuff because I feel like a lot of my products, and you, as you guys see going through my collection, are still old like drugstore type things. And I need to, you know, renew, replace some of these things, get some newer, fancier items. I don't need the fancier items, but y'all know, you know, you know what I mean. So maybe we could do, um, maybe we could do face powder tomorrow. And then, so I am, um, Kima. I, hi, Irene, how are you? We were talking about this product. Um, and the by Terry powder, I'm 500 medium dark. Oh, are we similar? No, we're not similar shades. You're lighter than me and uh, your skin tone, Kima. Uh, so I don't think La, La Prairie would work for me, but I have heard good things about that. Who else was talking? I think Chris Loves Lux had mentioned that as one of her favorites. Oh, good. Good to hear that, Irene. Nikki, do you have La Prairie or you're, that's another one you want to try? I do have the La Mer. How do you guys like the La Mer, the powder? I feel like that one gives me a little bit of a cast. Yes, I do. I agree with you. Um, I agree with you, Irene, about that pressed under eye powder from Pat. I just, I want her to come out with new shades and stuff. Like, you know, so we can use it all over the, all over the face, get that whole blurring effect all over the face. You said it's darker than the white powder. Okay. Cindy, you don't have La Mer. Yeah, so I yeah, I purchased that was on my wish list of a fancy item I wanted. So maybe I need to give it another try, but I feel like it looks a little, I don't know, ashy, maybe? I don't know. You have the old formula. Okay. What was I saying? Oh, so this Becca Light Shifter. I'm going to use this again tomorrow. I feel like oh, it's definitely a tinted moisturizer. I'm wearing it now, but you guys can see all this like, I don't know, this discoloration still peeking through and stuff, but it, it's not meant to be like a full foundation, but it says that it can be built up and stuff. So I'm going to get another feel for it tomorrow. Yeah, it says layer where you'd like to build coverage around the face, but it's supposed to be an illuminating skin, dewy finish type of a product. So I'm going to see this. I'm going to compare it with the um, Charlotte Hollywood Flawless Filter, seeing if they're similar, because that's one of the things that Kima had mentioned that she was curious about whether they're supposed to be similar um, kind of in formula or in the look of the product. So, and then what's the other thing that I'm going to get more of a feel for tomorrow as well? This um, light shifter finishing veil. Um, I'm not sh too sure about this. I feel like I'm getting hard pan on it and it's probably because I'm using the wrong brush. I feel like it's a similar formula to that um, Chantecai blush that we talked about yesterday, the baked gelée formula. And I am not picking this, like I can't, I got my goat hair brush here. Maybe this is too fluffy, but it just was not picking it up good. So I need to give this another go tomorrow as far as, you know, make sure I pick up a good brush to pick this up with and apply it to my face. So, yeah. So maybe we can have a brief discussion about those items tomorrow once I use them again. So, yeah. And you know what other, let me see if I can see it real quick. Where did I put it? There is another by Terry product that I use a dyed goat hair brush. Okay, a dyed goat hair brush like this, the buffing brush. Wait, no. Yeah, this is a psycho ho, psycho ho goat, correct? 
Let me see. I'm about to try it because this is getting crazy with these little bake gelay things. I'm about to say forget these products altogether. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> you said you love Jack Bake Gelay and it makes a difference. I don't know why I feel like I've never encountered this before. I had to have encountered it before all the makeup makeup that I used. Okay. I feel like it's doing something. But I'm really going in. And <laughs> That's probably not what I'm supposed to do. I'm just like, because you can see it. Y'all can see it, can't you? And I've only used, <laughs> I've only used it today. Come on now. Because I just it just came in the mail. I'm just layering up everything on this face. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm going to do this again. You said it looks like a filter on my cheeks. That's cool. I'll take that. I'm thinking that, I'm, well, of course, I'm going to use it again, but the reason I'm going to use it again is because I put all this other stuff on. So when um, Nikki asked me about that white hydro powder, I put that on and then, then I just went in with this. So I'm like, is it really this or is it the combination of the white hydro powder and this? You know what I'm saying? So this powder... <laughs> I know I am because I'm like, it's getting hard on it. You know, the little shiny area. It's like, why is it doing that? So, oh, but this powder is the Becca Light Shifter Finishing Veil in Atmospheric Number 5. And this is a new release from the brand. Um, so, and I'm trying, so what, and when I'm attacking the powder, I'm trying to get that dark area off so it can just look like a normal powder again. <laughs> you don't have to go that ham. <laughs> now you have the proper brush. <laughs> yeah, it does look like a nice, um, it does look like a nice finishing powder. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. So now that I'm clear on the brush that I need to use, thank you, Kima. <laughs> all right. We'll get a better, you know, feel for this tomorrow and I will report back. <laughs> um, yeah. So, and I do remember like when you had said that yesterday, Kima, how um, I think during Alicia's video, she was saying how um, Sonia G had made these brushes kind of to help with some of these more challenging formulas to pick up the product a little bit more easily. So let me just go to my Sonia G collection, get my dyed goat hair and go to town with this and that um, chance of God blush. <laughs> so yeah. Well, you guys are always so helpful. Thank you guys. Um, and thank you for joining me and stuff. So tomorrow we'll talk about some setting powders. And um, yeah, I don't have any new, any more makeup out waiting to be delivered. Although I'm itching to get something else. I don't need anything else, but I'm like, what cart am I going to click purchase on? Because I have a cart going on um, Selfridges, of course, because I want to get some get a or two Dior Quint. Like I have that jungle in my cart because you guys mentioned that one. And then there's one that's like purple and y'all know how much I love purple. So yeah, I have that in my cart. Oh, on my eyes today is the Mothership 5 Bronze Seduction. It's the Fire Opal shade. And then Rose Gold 005 in... Um, in the inner corner. So, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So I don't know what I'm going to put on the eyes tomorrow because I'm really wanting to use more of the special shades. So I'm thinking about a, the blue one from Mothership 6, I think. 
You love it. Okay, Kima, you love it. Yeah, it looks so pretty. And then I want that Byredo lipstick and that Tokyo whatever. Tokyo Rose. I want that. But then, so I'm kind of holding out because there is um, the Dior quad for the highlights. Kimberly Newberry. I don't know if she's been in here uh, for the past few lives, but when she was in, and we were talking about the lashes, she was talking about how she really likes the 005 Dior highlighter quad. So I was thinking about that too. I don't need another highlight. I've been trying to get my highlight collection together all like kind of organized and stuff. I feel like I have highlighters all over the place that I need to bring together so that we can go through that as well. Certainly. Sir, okay, I won't say sir. I'm not gonna tell you how to spend your money, but it's a good deal because I've already, I've ordered, I've only ordered twice. But that it's already paid for itself because I would have had to pay $30 each time. And I want to place another order. I feel like whatever I can get from Selfridges, I want to get from Selfridges because it comes so quickly. Sephora takes for, I mean, they don't take forever. They're like a day late on their shipping. Whenever they give me an estimate, it's at least a day late here recently. So, um, but Selfridges, they are not playing with that shipping. <laughs> it's good. It's good. Yeah. I, so, yeah, same here, um, Toya, with the Mothership 5. I hadn't used it in quite a while before I did my 30 days of, you know, lives and stuff. But it's good. I mean, well, you know, these... These, they're all good, but yeah. I know, same. Like, and, be, and then they took like the Rouge shipping deal away because I thought it was like th free three-day shipping before and now it's just, yeah. They caught on to us and went up on their Tom Ford quads, really. So I've never purchased, Tom, I haven't purchased Tom Ford quads uh, from Selfridges. I always try to find them on a sale, actually. <laughs> yes, they do ship well. They do. DHL be on it and stuff. They get sometimes I even get my package early. So so let's see. So we'll talk about the loose powders tomorrow and then an update on this whole Becca situation. I did pick up a gloss from them, which and I'm going back for highlighter eventually. It's not highlighter, blush. Where is that? Okay. Yes. I know. And then I'm like, y'all know you're going to be late. Why do you guys give these, you know, estimates of time frames and then you don't even ship it till the next day? It's, I'm like, how are you possibly going to get this to me in three days when you know you ain't even shipping it until tomorrow? Like. <laughs> It did take forever to get it to UPS or USPS, wherever you're taking it. Oh, so this um, gloss, I never mentioned Becca glosses, but I do like them. I'm only, well, I only have one. I have Chocolate Geode in their, um, in their Glow Gloss formula. And so I picked up the shade Tiger Lily, and it's really cute. So it has a nice little hint of color to it. Nice little coral gloss. If you don't mind the peppermint smell, I don't feel like it, it doesn't tingle the lips, but it has a nice like peppermint or spearmint, some type of mint. It's cute. 
<laughs> you said you like them too, Kima. Yeah, they're pretty good. I want to get more of them. So, all right, you guys. I've been holding y'all for, I guess it's only been an hour and 10 minutes. Wow. Okay. What other makeup is there that I wanted to mention? I think that's all as far as new. So isn't there a Chanel um, release? That's how I've been seeing this blush duo that I've been curious about from Chanel. I haven't really investigated too much, but I've seen some pictures and they were cute. Girl, tell me about it. <laughs> did not like them. I decluttered them immediately. <laughs> I didn't like them. I felt, I mean, I guess I shouldn't feel bad if I don't like a product just because the brand is black owned, but I do not, I didn't like them. I didn't like them. I didn't like them. Oh my gosh. Let's not talk about FedEx is the work. Are they the worst? I mean, there's only three options. Well, actually four if you consider DHL, but FedEx is pretty low on a totem pole. <laughs> like, seriously. But yes, Kima, oh my gosh. Yeah, and I thought I was the only one. I felt so bad in my black-owned makeup brand video because I'm like, okay, I'm giving me some lip bar stuff. This is cool. I like it. I think the blush thing is really too shiny to be considered a blush. It's, granted, they called it like a a blush duo. Oh, wait. I think on the package it said a glow blush. They had to have called it that, but um, yeah. That gloss, it wasn't really a gloss. I don't know. It just wasn't good. So, oh, really? You heard Juvia's places, places coming with new bronzers. Okay, I'm excited to see that. I always like, for the most part, their products. There's some eyeshadow palettes I was like, ah, uh, not really the greatest. But, Really, you, Vicky J, you chimed in and said USPS is the worst. So I don't, I felt like, I'm like, US, I don't know. My experience with USPS has been pretty good, except for my Danessa Myricks order recently. Like it went, came to my town, then went two hours away, then came back. <laughs> that was crazy, but I don't know. FedEx, it just seemed like they'd be slow walking it, man. <laughs> Oh, um, Toya, so I did not like those glosses because there was no shine to them. They're not glosses, okay? They are very, they're very much like liquid lipsticks in my opinion. So they were very thin. They had a very thin formula, a very strange um, smell. And then uh, they were like liquid lipsticks that don't dry all the way down. So it wasn't, they weren't moisturizing like I would expect a gloss to be. So um, yeah. So yeah, for it, like uh, Kima said, for, um, for it to be called a gloss, I just don't know where they got the word gloss from. It just wasn't good. Yeah, so, and since I didn't really care for the glosses, which are their like liquid lipsticks, I haven't really purchased anything else. Um, yeah, and I know they came out with, like they came out with a whole like range of products. So, um, I think they have foundation, I think they have concealer, I think they have powder and all that stuff. I just haven't really been too interested. But I like this one. I like this thing here. It's got a nice pigmentation, nice richness to it. Yeah, I agree, Irene.
Yeah, and I like the colors that they, I just did not care for that formula. What am I doing with this? I was about to put this orange on my <laughs> blush. Yeah, I know, but it's, look at, so this is something that I would have used as like a highlight. It's basically like, if you don't mind like an orangey highlight, do I have an arm? Well, I have an arm, but let's see. Right here. So I guess that's similar to the pure blush that I mentioned, but I use that pure blush kind of basically like a highlighter today. There it is. It's super pigmented and it's nice and smooth if you, um, you know, if you don't mind that. Let me see so I can show you all. I mean, I am layering everything, but. This ain't even a mirror, girl. Okay. Yeah, it's going to be a pretty bl blush topper. So it's just like, I guess, the technicality of the naming. Because it says on here that it's a blush and, um, you know, bronzer thing. You said Ashley in that face. Yeah. <laughs> I do um, get comments about it. <laughs> you said this is why you don't drink. Yeah, I be getting tired too. Like as soon as I like drink a glass of wine, I'm yawning within <laughs> like 10 minutes. It's hilarious. So now I've gone too far. Okay, I've really taken it to the next level. And I didn't kick it off. <laughs> Look at this craziness that I just did. What have I done here? Somebody help me. Okay. What have I done? What have I done? All right, let me get this. Um, let's try that Becca powder. See, that's a hot mess. Girl, go somewhere with that. Where is that? Um, where's that powder? Okay. You said you want them to come out with single press powders from the face compact, from the lip bar, you mean? I didn't um, try anything about that. Wait, are you guys still talking about the lip bar? Okay. Oh, that blended out nice, decently, okay. Okay, so you have tried this. You, I'm going back to the older comments. Christiana, you said the shimmer blush is way too thick and metallic. It is pretty thick. You can see how long that swatch went. It looks cheap in the face. <laughs> Putting thick shimmer eyeshadow on your face, not flattering or glowy, just metallic for me. Okay. <laughs> oh, my Lord. You guys, try be getting me with these comments. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's uh, okay. Well, it blended out decently, but y'all can see what that looked like. Um, yeah. So. Yeah, it's too much. But so yeah, this is this um the bronzer is extremely pigmented. It's a little powdery as far as like the kick up in the pan and stuff, but I'm like doing the most. Y'all, I'm just playing around. I'm not taking a picture after this anyway, so it's okay. <laughs> Okay, you guys. Well, we've played a lot and stuff, and I'm going to um, let you all go. But I appreciate you all coming through this evening and spending some time with me, of course. 
and look out for tomorrow's live. We're going to have some fun with setting powders. Maybe I'll add something else in there because I feel like my setting powders aren't that interesting. I've got a few, you know, I feel like my hair is just sticking out in the back. Um, I've got a few that are cool and interesting, but some of them just really aren't. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> and you guys can give me your recommendations and stuff like that. And we can have a fun chat again. So I appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. If you enjoyed the live, please give it a thumbs up. I would certainly appreciate it. I forgot to say that, but yeah, give it a thumbs up. Oh yes, I have. Thank you for that comment about the Shansakai mascara. I've been using it since it came in because my other stuff was kind of on its last leg anyways. And I'm really enjoying this. Um, I have it on, but I have lashes on. Let me see if I can zoom y'all in. I just don't think I picked the best lash um, style. It's very, it's a very natural lash, but I I do have the, some mascara, the Chantecaille mascara on. So, and then I have it on my lower lashes as well. So, yeah. Are you enjoying your mascara, uh, Kima? All right, there we go. Okay, but you need to start. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the impact of me using it daily. So, but yeah, I like the way, what it does to my lashes. And then I did use it in one of my live videos. Um, was it when I was trying the Fenty stuff? I think so. And I did like a close up so you could see the, la the impact of the mascara. And it's, I like it, man. So hopefully it come, keeps coming back onto the guilt.com website. So I don't need to pay $75. <laughs> so <laughs> you said you love the Burberry mascara. That's good. I'm going to stick with my Chantecaille here. And then I've got my dark star behind me, like a new one. And then we'll see where, where I go from there. I'm looking into the Gucci. I have it in my cart at Sephora. Just need to check out. Um, yeah, I agree. <laughs> I agree. The 75 is quite a steep, um, a, a steep price point. And Chai, you said you use new lash, right? I want to get that. I need to get that during the next Nordstrom sale, which I think happens in the fall. So I have a long time to wait, but I want to get that. And I just need to get into the habit of using it every day. Oh, Kima, you use New Lash too? Yes. Yes, Toya. $75. It's, <laughs> it's a steep price. <laughs> I'm like, this thing, this man here better do some miracle working stuff. <laughs> miracle working um, stuff on my lashes, man. Okay. Kima and Chai are advocating for the new lash. Okay. I need to get it. I need to get it. Oh, hey, Nikki, you said you're back. Yeah, I, I did say bye already, but. Oh, Metropolis is half off, half off on Selfridges. That's good to know, guys. I mean, if you guys are interested. <coughs> yeah, Selfridges is still having, you know, like the up to 70% off sale. I hadn't seen much that was interesting to me um, as far as like makeup is concerned.
Yeah. I'll have to do another um, peruse through the uh, makeup section again. Yeah, that is a nice sale. Oh, good, Vicky. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, because I don't remember seeing that one, although I don't need it. But yeah, I, yeah, I already have it too, Kima. So, oh, it's sold out. Oh man, that's quick. I'm sure people hopping on that one real quick. Oh yeah, I'm right here on the website. I know, too good to be true. That's pretty cool. How much is Pat's foundation usually? 65? That's a good sale. Yeah, I saw that the Suku, like the original foundation i guess it's the original cream foundation is on sale at least the last time i t looked at the suit at the selfridges website for their beauty stuff it looked like that one is on sale as well but i think the new one is the one that's everybody's been talking about I could stand to try a different shade of the Pat foundation. I use MD30, right? Yeah, I'm quite sure I'm using MD30. But um, I could probably go to a higher, like a, you know, 20 something. There's YSL lipsticks. That's a brand that I haven't tried any of. YSL. What do you guys think about that brand? As far as like, of course, their makeup and stuff like that, because I've been, th that's a foundation that I've been seeing here on Selfridges is the all hours. But I haven't heard anything from you all in regards to it. Which one are you talking about, uh, Nikki, as far as the Pat Foundation? Because I was I was thinking I could go to, I think it was MD28. But, I mean, MD30 works. It's just I, maybe there's like a, you know, a better shade, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, all the comments pop up at once. I just, I need to start looking at my phone. Let's see. Put you onto the YSL liquid lip mats. 
all their lip products. They make some of the best lip formulas. Also, the Touche Clot is a really nice uh, brightening pen. Okay. Okay, so I have to look there because there's quite a few, I feel like, YSL items that are on sale here. And yeah, Toya, I, um, or not, not Toya, Kima is the one who mentioned the YSL foundation. Yeah, that's a lot of with my foundation collection. I guess we could do a video on foundation collection as well. That would be, I feel like it would be a shorter video, maybe. I don't know. But it's, it's been so long with a lot of them that I don't remember how I enjoyed them. So I hear that. Oh no, I'm sorry to hear that Toya, that is annoying. Nabla Cosmetics Bronzer and Profile is actually an amazing formula. Different than any powder you've ever had, but the color needs to be darker. Okay, I do remember Mel Thompson doing a review on those powders. I have to look into that one as well. We've got a lot of nice recommendations coming through. Do they have pictures here? Uh, deep. Oh, okay. I think the ones at least that I was thinking about, Nikki, on this on the Selfridges website is sold out. Medium deep twenty eight. Let me see this picture here, or maybe twenty seven. Twenty seven. Vicky, did Vicky just say twenty seven? Oh, that she wanted. Yeah, okay, 27. I think that one's gone too. Yeah, the shade that they have is 29. And I was thinking towards 28. So it's not there. So for you guys talking about the liquid mattes, um, do those dry down matte or they just have a matte color or how do, how are they? Uh, I stay away from the ones that dry down matte anymore. Chai, did you get the lip the lip thing in the mail already too? From Westman Atelier, the lip compact that you had mentioned earlier. <clears throat> of a matte cream. Okay, they remind you of a matte cream. Maybe I should just filter on a brand rather than looking through all this stuff. <clears throat> Wow, the Celestial Divinity Luxe Eyeshadow Palette Quad is on sale. And Iconic Illumination. I wonder if it's sold out because since they did that with the Natasha Denona. No, it's actually, if you guys don't have Interstellar Icon, wait, never mind. They switched it up on me. It's sold out. They need to take this stuff off of the sale page then if it's sold out. 
it was on sale for thirty-eight fifty in whatever that currency is. <laughs> currency in British pounds or something. And the mega eyeshadow palette. So do you rub all of the shades of that lip thing together or is there a way, do you, does it come with a brush for you to just pick which shade of red you want to use? Yes, I'm like, come on now. So with the sold out product and you have to click into the, but the thing is, so I click into it and it looks like it's available. Then after the page finished loading, then it tells me that it's not. <laughs> they have that Pat um, skin highlighting trio. I'm not sure if it's actually still in stock, but it's showing it on the page. They have a decent amount of Zoeva as well. I'm not really too much. Um, too much familiar with the Zoeva brand. Okay, you use your Natasha Denona lip brush. Okay. I see the foundation stick you were mentioning. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with the sales and stuff. I have to stop myself. So I don't know how you guys feel about Stila. Very, not very talked about at all. But the Hide and Chic Fluid Foundation is really nice. <laughs> I like it. It was, I was using it for quite a while. I feel like it's got a, I don't know, like a similar, similar feel to the Pat McGrath. And that is like a nice thin formula but you get some cut you get coverage and stuff it's really i like it it's in this on sale for 15.50 i mean not 15.50 dollars 15 dollars and 50 cent not in the currency that is showing up i don't know why it's not showing me in dollars right now probably because i'm not on my app when I'm on the app it shows me wait oh and then they've got it they got it in the shades too i think i'm in deep two or something yeah. You said you like Stila Kima. Yeah, I don't have much on the brand other than they're like the liquid shadows, but I tried this hide and chic fluid foundation and I like it pretty I like it pretty pretty much pretty well. I think pretty much. So oh yeah, change my country. So usually they ask me like, are you in America or, you know, are you in U.S.? Oh, okay. Here we go. Thank you. Y'all would think I'd never done no sh any online shopping before. <laughs> Just change the currency. Lord Jesus. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lord, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Kima. She's uh, getting me all together here with the brushes, the online shopping. <laughs> all right. What else is on here? Hold on. They like are starting me over every time I... Okay, whatever. So the Pat McGrath setting powder is here, thirty-two fifty from forty-seven. If if your shade is still in stock. Oh, here's that velvet cream matte lip stain. That's what y'all was talking about. The YSL is on sale for twenty-eight dollars. Tantouage, tantouage. <laughs> oh my goodness, yes. 
Certainly, certainly. All right, come on. Don't tell me everything's sold out. Not that I really need this, but the matte lip stain. I hope this is what you all are talking about, maybe. They've only got a few shades here. Let me see, is it up here? In the steel? Yeah, let me grab it. It is deep two. Yep, it's deep two. I like this one. Let me show it since I have it right here. Well, first, let me wipe these swatches off. <sighs> Let's see. So you can see how, um, you know, how thin of a formula it is. And then there it is on my skin. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, they're really nice. Okay, cool. So maybe I can put one of these in my cart. One thing I've noticed, and maybe it's just the brand doesn't provide it, but I don't see a lot of, sometimes I don't see swatches and things like that on um, on Selfridges. Maybe it's just that the brand doesn't provide them. Not quite sure. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's almost 11 o'clock. I'm just chilling here shopping. See, there we go. Okay, <laughs> well. You guys, I'm really going to let y'all go. My husband's probably like, where is this lady at? <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to let you go for real this time. I'm going to talk to you all later. And then tomorrow we'll come back and talk about, in addition to the press powder, what did y'all buy from the Selfridges sale? Okay. If you bought anything, maybe you stay strong. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm going to talk to you all later. Once again, thank you so much for being here with me tonight and you all have a good evening. Bye guys.